Bon Appetit! I just bypassed my password. Uh, and so... He Silky smooth performance, good job! Look at how laggy everything is. The whole UI is dropping frames. Hey guys, how are you doing? Really? Well, boohoo. We all have problems. And I've got 99 problems, and High Sierra is 98 of them. The other one is a drifter fell asleep in my studio, and that's why I'm in my office. But still, we need to have a serious talk about macOS High Sierra. Apple, I have a bit of a bone to pick with you. What is your deal with High Sierra? You have clearly invented the vista of the Mac operating system, and just when I thought it couldn't get worse, Look at that, look at, oh, by the way, look at that beautiful performance. All right, we're gonna come back to that in a sec. Just when I thought it couldn't get worse, you have a second big security problem where someone can enter the word root into a password prompt and bypass the administrator password. How does this kind of stuff slip by? What kind of QA are you guys doing? So we're here just to really talk about this and maybe solve some of the problems, but I also wanna know if you guys are having any of the problems that I'm talking about if you have any fixes for them, and feel free to list any other problems I might have missed. But I am going to say this, not a single day has gone by where I have not regretted upgrading to macOS High Sierra. Every day has just been a constant struggle with honestly this piece of shit operating system. In fact, the only reason I upgraded is because I wanted to document it on Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures. I wasn't even wanting to upgrade because really nothing that exciting seemed to be listed as features yeah, but I was stupid and installed it on my daily driver system anyway. Oh, and to add to the problems, I didn't have a fully functional time machine backup, so I couldn't roll back, and Apple is douchey and removed the installer from the Mac App Store because they just like to do that. So I actually uh, fiddled around and was able to hop on a computer still running Sierra, and I... Look at this lag. Oh my gosh, what? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. And I installed Sierra onto an external drive because the performance is horrible, just like you saw there. It's so bad, I can't do any of my work. Most of my work I can't do in High Sierra because it's so slow. So I literally installed Sierra on an external drive just to run some of my pro apps. Which brings us to my next big beef. In fact, this is probably the biggest problem I have with this piece of junk operating system. Final Cut Pro. This thing will just drag down the system. And on Apple's website, of course, what does it say? An outright frickin' lie, right here. Incredible performance, optimized for Mac computers, and Mac OS High Sierra. Bull freaking horseshit! This isn't optimized for anything on High Sierra. In fact, it performs way faster on your last year operating system. So let's have some fun. Let's just kind of scrub around the timeline here, right? You know, this is something I do for my living and I need Final Cut Pro to work, but let's just let's just enjoy. Look at look at this let look at look, yeah, this is really optimized performance here. Check out this performance. Such a shame. Oh, this is gross. It makes my expensive computer that I've had with me for four years seem like a piece of junk. But it's the software. The software is making it act like a piece of junk. Is anyone else having that problem? I know I am. I know this person is because I talked to them. And they use Apple Pro apps on macOS High Sierra and they absolutely suck. Now, I can understand if a third party app sucks at first on a new operating system, but the fact that we're talking about Apple software here running on an Apple operating system on Apple hardware and it's having performance issues, that's just unacceptable. I know if you read the terms and conditions, it's provided as is without warranty, but the as is is a pile of junk. So let's play this back. One of the things he asked my dad to do was mm. to, uh, Wow, look at that frame rate. Uh, and so he Silky smooth performance. Good job. It's not like any professionals need to rely on your software working now, do they? Wrong. Millions of people are trying to rely on it and you're making it very difficult. And it's not just that. Like at first I thought Fonica Pro was having problems because it wasn't optimized for High Sierra. Well, it turns out anything remotely intensive in fact causes UI lag across the entire system. 
as you were noticing right there. Those types of frame drops should not happen on this computer. Yes, it's four years old, but the power inside of it should be able to handle a couple of swippity swipes. And you'll notice it's fine there, but if I switch back to an application like this, play around a bit, lag, and then try to move to something else, you'll notice it's choking. Let's enjoy now one of the many fabulous security holes in this macOS Vista. So the first one that happened a while ago was password hint fields, which I don't use a password hint anyway. I think that's really insecure just in general, don't do it. But anyway, password hint fields weren't displaying password hints, instead they were displaying protected passwords in plain text. Huge security hole. And now there's another juicy one that just got exploited today. Today meaning when I'm filming this tech video log, but let's have a little experiment fun. Okay, I'm in users and groups. I can't change a lot of settings because the lock is there. You'll notice stuff is grayed out. So if I click the lock, normally I would have to enter in the administrator password, right? Well, who needs that? Forget your password, just type in the word root to the username. Bon appetit, just bypassed my password. Good job, Apple. You really are great with your quality assurance. You guys are so good at that. I don't know how you do it. You're also great with optimizing your software, which by the way, you are lying about and that is a false statement on your website. So you might want to fix that. You, you think they would fix this? You think they would have some like quality assurance team or something? You know, being a multi quadrillion dollar corporation, but no, they're too lazy. No, I don't think they worked as well as they used to either. Just listening on, on what Brent's saying. But yeah, uh, everything's lagging. Like, look, look at that lag right there. Isn't that insane? Like, even the dot can't come up without dropping frames. It's just sad. You can't call this optimized by any means. And that is buttery smooth on Sierra. Don't believe me? I'll show you in a bit. Stick around. So, your Mac elevated? No. No, no, no. It's like thrown into a pit. Like, ever since El Capitan, I've had issues with the new macOS releases, but by far, this is the worst. And also, the website is kind of weird, and there's low contrast there. But anyway, I'm not a designer now, am I? But yeah, it's just terrible. Even scrolling performance is terrible. Look at this. <sighs> yeah. Well, some of the issues I was having earlier, like for some reason movie files would take forever to open up even off of an SSD, luckily those were fixed. And I'm still waiting for the next big update for Final Cut Pro and the next dot update of macOS High Sierra, which I am praying will fix a lot of these issues. If that stuff doesn't, I don't think I'll have a choice anymore, guys. I might have to just wipe out this system, install Sierra, Here's the thing, though, that surprises me probably the most. Recently, Apple started doing public betas for their software to try to get more feedback. You would think that would help solve the problems. But ever since they started doing that, I say things have gotten worse. I remember last year, I did a tech video log on Crazy Ken that talked about the Mac OS Sierra woes. Now we're having high Sierra woes, which are frankly a lot worse. The other stuff was just annoying. This is like workflow, halting, interrupting, security hole, terrible software. Like way worse than the last year. So now I just wanna show you a little performance test. Just like what we were looking at earlier with Final Cut Pro. Well, let's look at some of that. Again, beautiful lag. I'm going to prove that it's not just because I have an old laptop, it's because Apple does not make good software anymore. They really need to step up their game and update their down, stuff properly. Uh, Look at this. Look at how laggy everything is. The whole UI so is dropping frames. Look at this. Absolutely unacceptable. I can't believe they would screw their customers over so bad. And I know it's not just me having these problems because I've talked to others, and now I'm talking to you guys. I wanna see what you guys think. All right, so now let's boot up into Sierra and see how much faster that handles software like Final Cut Pro. All right, so here we are now back in macOS Sierra, an operating system that actually works. And let's have a little scrub. Boom, buttery, perfect performance. Color graded 4K ProRes 422 footage, not pre rendered. By the time he was in his 70s, he really didn't feel like his life. Not a single dropped frame, and the interface performs at a perfect 60 FPS. 
same hardware, yet a year older operating system. So Apple, explain to me, why is it that your older software works so much better than your newer software? That makes no sense to me, but if you could explain it, maybe I can make sense out of all this and everything will be back to normal and the planets will be realigned once again. Uh, we've had a couple break-ins and after the last break-in, uh, there was some, some pretty lack Perfect performance. Apple, no excuses. You guys need to check your products better. You release unfinished products. I'm calling you out and I'm standing my ground. This is terrible. Your millions of customers rely on you to make software that works. We make our livings with it and you've done such a great job. I don't know why you're dropping the ball lately. Does anyone else notice that? Seriously guys, Apple, get your heads out of your butts and fix your shit. Let me know, guys, if you have any other issues and if you have any solutions to them. I'm sure the community would love to know. And come on, well, let's battle this. And Apple, just fix your shit. Catch the crazy and pass it on.